your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain. Okay, so this is a live look at Vernon right now. This is our Alpha Insurance Derms Pharmacy Skycam. Just very, very calm conditions outside. Our temperatures, I can't, I can't complain about these. I actually really like these 60s, uh, maybe upper 50s for a few of us. But we're all going to drop down later into the night. Bake basically maybe close to 40. Some of us might touch 40, but about 50, 51 degrees. And then we do it all again on Monday, 78 for the high. Plenty of sunshine on tap, maybe a little bit of a gust, but nothing in the way of rain or clouds or anything. Just a sunshine, beautiful, lovely day outside. You're going to want to enjoy this. And I'm pointing this out just because on Tuesday, you get a little bit of a change. It's not going to be like Monday. In fact, it's going to be exactly the opposite. It starts with this upper level jet stream right here that starts out kind of making its way northeast down to the southwest. It moves over the next few days over to our location, at which point it becomes you know, oriented to where it's northwest to southeast. Now, that's what we call a negative tilt. And negative tilts are actually very, very favorable in jet streams for severe weather. So something we're watching right here because it's basically positioned right over northern Mississippi around midpoint in the day, and then it kind of moves its way on out. But we also have some fuel right here. Uh, this little, just uh, this jutting out of this blue, that's actually fuel for storms. And that's uh, important because you know we have uh, the negative tilt, we have the fuel for the storms. The only thing we're missing right here is that forcing mechanism, and we're actually going to get that. That's going to force that instability. That's from a cold front that's going to make its way on through Tuesday. And that relieves us with a level two risk for most of northern and central Mississippi. Parts of western Alabama still sitting with that level one risk. Doesn't mean you're not going to get anything though. Stay Pay close attention because these maps, they can and do get updated quite often uh, by the uh, Storm, uh, Storm Prediction Center, the SPC. They, they do lots of updates on this throughout the day. So uh, we'll be watching it very, very closely. But what it's looking like right now, you get to your midday, 11 a.m., just kind of a disorganized band of showers and storms gets a little bit more organized as we get to about 1, 2 p.m. into this like long thin line right here, basically a squall line looking formation. And it's what that's going to bring is likely mostly a severe uh, weather straight line wind threat, maybe the odd tornado embedded in between, but mostly straight line winds. And then it's going to be gone as quickly as it gets there. So it's going to be a quick mover. That's your good news. If you're looking for some good news there, the other thing is it's bringing some cold air. It's not going to last very long. We only stay at six in the sixties for about a day and then we get right back to the seventies once again. But looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, another rain chance drops us down into the 60s and 70s and afterwards we have plenty of good conditions. Desmond?